We finally hit 60,000 subscribers! Yay! You think I was gonna let that go? Uh, not! So I thought we would do something special and look back. And um, again, this is the office. It's late. Let me see. I'm trying to test the quality of this camera. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I turn around and walk backwards. Can you see the hubby in the background? watching the debate between Hillary Clinton and uh, Bernie Sanders. March 10th, 2016, and I'm in my office, and this is lunch. Green juice from my husband, my beautiful husband. That was nice of him. Someone's enjoying that mango. Someone's enjoying that mango. What? It's disgusting, Kareem. What are you doing? I think you're too grown for that. What are you doing? Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. Back in 2016, I had no idea what I was doing when it came to YouTube. For me, it was just fun. It was just a silly little hobby on the side. And I was just recording my family because I enjoyed recording my family pretty much like I would write a diary. So instead of writing a diary, I was doing a video diary. That was it. It was not supposed to be anything major. And through the years, you've watched my family grow. Our children go from high school to college and beyond, right? When we moved away from the small town, I had about less than 100 subscribers. And around 2017, I think I had about 1,000 subscribers. We should pick some. Might go well with the fish. And there's lemongrass. How do you know when the lemongrass is good, Dobu? You look at the stalk. The stalk? Yeah, if it's thick. Should be yeah, thick, yeah. right. Anyway, let's get some basil. Ooh, it's so fragrant. We have it on the highest 400 degrees. And, you know, this is really cool, this little gadget here, because I can use it inside, I can use it outside. Um, we just have it connected by an extension cord, which you see on the floor here. And that goes into this room back here, straight ahead where I have kind of like an outdoor kitchen. This is a quick overview of what you're gonna need to make the satay that we're gonna make today. So really not too many ingredients. I'm getting a really good workout with this, but you gotta mix it in really well. Can you see how cheesy, cheesy good this is? Into the oven, 350 degrees. So, Ken tried attaching plastic on the inside of the, um, of the damn skylight, but it wasn't working, so he has to go on the roof. But I'm really nervous about this. Really nervous about this. Oh my God, I'm really nervous, I'm really nervous. Oh my god, this is not good. This is not good. Cat and be careful. Because a whole tree came down up there. Just be careful. Besides the typical family vlogs, I also started off doing a lot of hair tutorials in the beginning, and this was back in 2016. This is 2018. It's quite long when I stretch it out, and uh, I don't have time to straighten it, so. For most of my life, I've actually had a relaxer in my hair. My mom's been relaxing my hair since I was a little girl. I've told you that before. But for the first time in my adult life, I had natural hair for about three years and then relaxed it again <laughs> and then cut it off after about a year and went back to natural, which is where I am now, right? Anyway, I have done so many things with my hair on YouTube. I've made so many DIY wigs from scratch 
and I've had a lot of fun learning about my hair and learning about protective styles thanks to YouTube and just having fun. And I really consider myself now a hair chameleon of sorts. <laughs> So we're in the elevator, elevator, going up, going up. And of course, there was the memorable trips to the high school reunion where I met my former classmates from FGC Sokoto. And even though I'm not as involved, it definitely was a memorable experience. Ladies and gentlemen, boarding is now complete. Flight attendants secure the... <laughs> it's a good day in the neighborhood. It is. It's not a selfie video. Like I said before, I really enjoy creating content around food and dessert. You know, I have a sweet tooth, but I also love interior design. I love decorating with plants. I love table settings. Yeah, I think I am definitely inspired by people like Paula Dean, Martha Stewart, B. Smith. And I genuinely enjoy making content where I get to be creative and live my domestic goddess life. <laughs> Over the years, I've also enjoyed sharing a little bit about my past in Nigeria, a little bit about my childhood. And even though I haven't shared a lot, I've shared enough, right? And most of you have enjoyed it. I'm in the middle. Oh, mommy's in the middle. <laughs> uh, do we look alike? Yep, we look alike. My round face, daddy's round face and wide nose. <laughs> and what do I get from you, mother? I don't know, my good looks. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Our father visiting from Nigeria for the first time in 30 years, seeing my brother and myself now as adults for the first time in 30 years was definitely epic, right? And not only was he coming from Nigeria, but having my mother present, that was a huge surprise. And I had no idea that that video was going to go viral, but it did. And we gained a ton of subscribers with those videos about my father visiting from Nigeria. So I'm sure many of you watching today probably joined this channel because you had watched those videos. Say hello if you did. Let me know if you did. Uh, today is September the 8th or 9th? 9th. 9th. Okay, so I just had my first shot of COVID or COVID vaccine. God forbid, first shot of COVID. COVID vaccine. And I hope everything goes okay. Um, usually you're supposed to wait, you know, 15 minutes. It is a working day and so... Kenton has to go back to work and I guess I felt well enough to just get up and go so I couldn't sleep. I literally may have slept an hour because I was just so anxious and had insomnia. I was tossing and turning and it was horrible, absolutely horrible and it doesn't make sense but I, I just have a lot of fear feels as if I felt sort of forced almost to be honest I just felt it wasn't something that felt natural to me but in the end I guess it is the safest thing to do especially if you're going out of town on a side note, at that time, the channel was about 28,000 subscribers and it hadn't really grown that much. I was feeling, you know, rather bummed, but whatever, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And I had no idea that the next video I was going to post would actually attract a lot of attention. So I posted a video about my experience, you know, and my opinions. Um, as a woman who happens to be a doctor, but is also very fearful and 
um, unsure about taking, you know, the jab. And I did not expect that so many of you would appreciate that video or that that content would resonate with so many of you. For the most part, like I've said before, I don't really care what people think of me on a personal level, but I do know that as a content creator who happens to be a doctor, I still have to be responsible and, you know, be careful about what I say online, especially when it pertains to health or medicine. And so I knew that putting up a video talking about my fears or concerns or reservations about taking the jab was very risky. And I totally thought I was going to get canceled, totally canceled or get in trouble. I also thought YouTube was going to block that video. But anyway, we ended up going from 29, 30, 31,000 subscribers. And I thank anyone who subscribed during that period. So. Banchaya, chaya is the uh, uh, egg rolls, you call them egg rolls, uh -huh. so it's crispy, but then you have the uh, uh, sautéed beef, usually with uh, onions, lemongrass, and then you have, again, the pickled vegetables, uh, lettuce, so it's kind of like a Vietnamese salad, per se, and then you have uh, the fish sauce, usually nook mom with, uh, with a little bit of sugar and uh, citrus. By 2022, we are now at around 40,000 subscribers and many of you seem to enjoy the Tea Party content. So we have three different types of tea. The floral teas, one, two, and here we have the black currant tea. All right, so Nana, what was it like being a single mother I guess you, you've been a single mother since 1986, technically, right? Yes. So what do you think was the biggest challenges about that or adjustment? The biggest challenges were financial, um, getting three children, taking care of three children financially on my own, schooling, feeding, clothing. You know, the necessary things that children need, and then college. Mm. It was stressful. It was very stressful. But I did it. Right. Happily. Did you do it, have done it differently where there was, you still were in, you know, the marriage and having the financial I, support? I, I wasn't given that option. My husband chose not to come here, so... Hmm. I wasn't given that option, so I had to do what I had to do. Put on my big girl panties and <laughs> do what I had to do. Right. Right. But I felt like the world was resting on my shoulders for a long time. Hmm. And I kept trying to make sure that the children were not wanting anything because I'm single. Hmm. I, I kind of spoilt them a little because I felt that if their dad was with me, we would have provided for them on a certain level. So I did what I had to do to maintain that level, even if it meant having a second job. So did you feel a lot of pressure, though, for us to, quote, be prosperous or to be you know, successful because you didn't want people to look at it and feel, oh, you know, they did badly because they came to America. Right. I, I expected a certain standard and I tried to maintain that standard so that the children, uh, my children, would have a future of independence for themselves. Of course, I don't need an excuse to eat black cake, but since I wrote the book, The Caribbean Fruit Cake, I needed to make content around the fruit cake so that I can help promote the book. And of course, so I can eat more cake. <laughs> but really, thank you to everyone who purchased the book. And don't forget to leave me a book review on Amazon or wherever you bought the book. It's not too late.
I also want to thank you for allowing me to indulge in some of my hobbies here on YouTube. I will be carving her, giving her a new face, new personality, and I think she's going to be Beyonce. So I guess you can say I have many different interests and I am particularly drawn to the creative arts as reflected by my videos over the years here on YouTube. I mean, I brought you cooking vlogs, family vlogs, tea parties, decorating videos, gardening videos, hair videos, health-related videos, and one could say that that might be a reason why this channel has not grown as fast as it could have, because I haven't really stayed within one niche. Now, typically, nowadays, they advise if you're starting a channel that you try to focus in on one niche, whether it be, you know, hair videos only, or fashion videos only, or book reviews only. You know, find a specific niche that you want to focus on. For me, that has been a challenge because I have so many different interests and I get bored doing one thing. So, I don't know. Again, maybe the channel could have grown a lot faster had I not been trying different things, but I think in the end, I am happy with the steady growth that we've had. So far, the channel has been growing about 10,000 new subscribers a year, which I think is pretty healthy overall, but I do have times where I feel frustrated and impatient. You know, my A-type personality is like, girl, it could be better. But anyway, sometimes it's actually better to be slow and steady than to have an extreme you know, burst of new subscribers or to go viral before you're actually ready to produce the type of content those new subscribers are looking for. So anyway, what do you think of my girl? This is my favorite Blythe doll that I customized. I love all the detail that I put into her. She's supposed to represent, you know, Beyonce in the video Lemonade. Y'all remember a couple of years ago, right? <laughs> Anyway, about being a content creator again, one thing I absolutely enjoy is reading all of your comments and all the positivity and just all the encouragement. Thank you so much for allowing me to be myself, to be quirky sometimes, to be serious, to be funny and silly sometimes. I really, really appreciate every one of you. 2023 was definitely the rise of Timu. I don't think you could turn on any kind of social media without seeing Timu everywhere. And I definitely got caught up. Reluctantly initially, but I got caught up. <laughs> I made a video that I did not expect to go viral and currently has over 700,000 views. It made me the most money, and you would think I would continue making Timu videos. I should, if I just thought about the money. But honestly, I don't know. Something just, it just wasn't sitting right for a number of reasons, which I've shared before, and I just stopped making Timu videos. They were fun, not gonna lie. They were definitely fun, and even Kenton got into them, right? <laughs> So what does that look like to you? Well, it's supposed to be cargo pants. Right. But. But what? Yeah, that's what's supposed to be cargo pants, but uh, very thin, mm -hmm. very thin cargo pants. Pull up the t-shirt. Why? <laughs> Why you got it like that? Because I pulled it up. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You look like Urkel. Look, it's the way to cut. Oh my God. Boo, fix it. To, I'm not fixing it. I'm showing you. People want to know what it, but actually it is. Is it too big? Is it too small? No, What's wrong with is, it? This is tight. It's the cut. <laughs> That's the only time I gotta tell you. Unless I lost a nut. Kitchen. <laughs> No, I'm not ready to get out. That's what I'm saying. Fix it. Fix it. <laughs> It's You're so making it look bad. I'm not. <laughs> look. It's, look, people, it's the cut. It's, it's your way. belly in the way. No, Maybe. Look, if, it, if, what? if I took the belly out, it's the way it is. 
I think it fits. Doesn't it fit? I mean, I don't know how men's pants are supposed it's to go. It's not supposed to look like that. Like I love that most of you find our content uplifting and makes you smile, but I also know that it's important once in a while to bring more serious content, educational content. So taking you with me for my screening mammogram and discussing screening tests for cancer. And, um, take your top off and I'm gonna slide an apron around you. I know you're not pregnant, it's like to shield you, okay? Now, most important thing here is relax your shoulder, perfect. I've also taken you with me to some of my dental appointments. So, just got out of the dentist, su survived that. I don't know, it's absolute torture. I'm never going to get used to that. But I have to say the dentist was really, really nice, really gentle, and uh, had to give me like anesthesia or the pain medicine injectable pain medicine at least three times just to make sure I couldn't feel the pain I'm supposed to mix the Miralax with Gatorade so I'm just gonna pour this this way I know how much I'm drinking and I'm supposed to drink this every 15 minutes until it's finished bottoms up here we go That was okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. I just feel a little sleepy. A little sleepy, man. That propofol works. Thanks again to every loyal subscriber and even those who aren't subscribed but watch our videos. Thank you for the views. And thank you to anyone who left a positive, uplifting comment or liked or shared our videos. Thanks to you, we made it to 60K. Right, right. this is the bread before. It's, it's got yeast in it. Yes, it's got a yeast infection. It's got a yeast infection? I don't think so. Yes. Let me see, can I touch it? No, leave it alone. Now this is what I've done with this one a little bit. It's got Guinness. Oh, really? Yeah, so because, you know, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. No, you heard of uh, Irish beer, uh, soda bread or beer bread? Hey, Mariam, would you like your bread toasted? So this is a wet dough. Yeah, yeah, because what it is is that when it goes in here, the moisture steams it, that puffs it up. Mm -hmm. That's why then all of a sudden this will be this. And then... Yeah, so that's what that's kind of like. Top from your red wine. Um, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. This is a beautiful bread. It really, I mean, it looks like red, red, red. <laughs> Got some gluten-free homemade bread from the husband. Look at that. Made in the pot. And um, potatoes, carrots roasted. Some, is this steak, Boo? Yeah, sure. Of course, that's the bread. Taste it, see. That's <laughs> not potatoes. Sometimes love is a See how the back is interesting. Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna have a little sliver. Yes. Well, no, it looks like bread, bread. Sometimes the gluten-free bread is a little bit more dense. 
I feel Irish. like I want to toast it still. So we got Irish butter, but I also got just regular salted butter. So we're using this. That looks like a lot of butter, doesn't it? And the thing with gluten-free but I mean gluten-free bread is it doesn't brown, so you're not gonna see that dark toast, but it is toasted. This bread is definitely hitting. <laughs> this toast with butter, especially when you've been deprived for so long, and then when I dip it in the sauce with a piece of meat, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Thank you so, so very much. I'm going to leave you with a few funny <laughs> clips. Oh my God, why am I making that noise? I can't breathe. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Ew! Speed nut. <laughs> the tiger got you. Yeah, turn around right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Walk of shame. Four o'clock in the morning. Holy it's shit, it's four in the morning? Not even, it's like this cheap wig cap. And it's just like lightly sitting on my hair. You know what? Uh, so we'll take this shit off. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa, all right, good night, folks. Just because he got a big belly doesn't mean he can't squat. <laughs> That's my husband of 30 years, 25 years. <laughs> Look at him go, <laughs> fool. <laughs> we both got to lose like 20 pounds. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look like Sanford and Son. Uh, Remember Sanford? Um, oh, Elizabeth, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming, you'll be able. You look rich. You look rich, mother. <laughs> Two fools. <laughs> Two fools. It's uh, coming all the way down on my cheekbone, on my little face. Be sure gonna carry his mom because she don't feel like walking a few few steps to go over there. It's because of the heat. What heat? Just come on, you keep. Oh God, that's so cheesy. What the hell is going on here? Brothers and sisters. Oh wait, I'm not even taking a picture. Wait, okay, now I'll take a picture. No, this is recording. I know, I'm recording on uh, my camera. Is it taking a picture, Kareem? Uh, hey, what are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? <laughs> Over a tangerine. Where? Oh. That's crazy that you remembered. <laughs> For those of us that love food. We just haven't had this flavor. Right. Jesus. Right. It's a particular taste. Okay, Nana's the moth whisperer now. She got it on a stick. I hope it runs quickly up Yeah, I hope it runs up your stick onto your arm. Oh, that's all right. It's only a, the only thing I am afraid of is mouse. Okay? That's mouse? A mouse. Mice. A mouse. A mouse. Yeah, keep messing around, <laughs> filming this so that your mama can see that you're getting a little exercise. <laughs> yep, so your mom can see you're getting a little exercise. What are you doing, Kenton? Mind you hurt yourself. You're not that young in guy anymore. All right, keep playing. Yeah, the six is the same thing Yeah, as they nine. look the same. All right, so this is nine, right? What is this? This is the chili one? Oh, this is the chili one. This is the chili one. looks like he's struggling right there. <laughs> Are you having fun? 
been a while since you've been on that machine, huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep playing. I thought you was fit. Yeah, uh-huh. Need to come out here every day. All right, cheese. Vacay. So this is Nana, the new homeowner. Well, she was a homeowner before, but the new North Carolina homeowner. She's yeah. got her first house in North Carolina. We closed today. Mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> so relief. Relief. Start of a new chapter. I just noticed that the door, that you have a, a screen. Mm -hmm. I have to get a screen for the door so I can open it for air to come in without the bugs. Oh, it's ready? Yeah. Wow. Wow, it's amazing, this thing. So the fire's on the side of the turkey. No, it's actually on the bottom. Oh, it's it on the bottom. It radiates up. Mm. Yeah, so it creates like a convection. Oh, so okay. It's, but fry it, so, so, so it's outside, it's crispy, but then right. it's tender and juicy because it's like cooks in its own juices. So here's the table before all the food goes on. I think we're done. Careful. Wow. Macaroni and cheese. Oh my God, this is American style. Good mac and cheese. Good thing. Yeah, you're not driving that close to us. No, 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 keep up the pace, keep up the pace. That's why you got me here. You ready for your bike now? You ready to go on the real bike? <laughs> I danced, my hubby did not, <laughs> and he's kind of shy. <laughs> I could dance all night. <laughs>